You have two seconds to like the video, or this will haunt your dreams. Five mistakes you're making in Blocks Fruits. Number one is when you're trying to buy a raid chip and you accidentally press eat when the guy appears because you mistook it for the raid chip selection and you lose both your good fruit and the substitute fruit. Always remember that you do not need to hold the fruit to use it for a raid chip payment, just like Trevor in Swan Mansion. Number two is buying fruits just to try them. When you're a noob, you're wasting valuable money which you might need when the actual good fruit is on stock. Fruits that should not be bought is, for example, pain fruit, gravity fruit, spider fruit, and the list goes on. Sure, you may like it, but do you need it? No. Of course you can do what you want, but if you wish to have the fastest grinding, then my way is the way. Number three is equipping the wrong accessories without knowing the buffs just because they look cool. Avoid it sooner or later. Maybe a vanity on and off will be added, but until then, suck it up and actually wear the accessories you actually need, depending on your build or your race. Number four is carelessly using your main bounty hunting save. When you're doing something other than bounty hunting, you should jump on the team you have the least bounty in because no one wants to get killed and losing 30k plus bounty for no reason. Mostly by hackers, they're obnoxious if you do not have a good build to run from them. Last but not least, grinding at places where NPCs are very far away from each other, the time it will take to get from NPCs to NPCs will be very long and totally bad. If you have a 2xx boost, you do not wish to waste. Grind at the place before the NPCs for a while until you can skip to a place better. Another example, other than the Dragon Crew NPCs would be the Great Tree Marine Commodore's Ek. Avoid these islands unless you're doing elite bosses. And with that concludes the video. If you enjoyed like the video, 